Welcome to one of the cornerstone cities for the NFL. Grim Bay, Wisconsin, home of the attackers. Also home of the first semi-successful head transplant, Grim. Yeah, whatever happened to that poor guy? Well, he did all right for himself. He's the state mascot for head cheese. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's going to have it all. The Cleveland Burns take on the Grim Bay Attackers. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Once again, everyone, Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Huh? Hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, that's good. But I flunked my mental. Not too good. Well, I, it's 50-50. Better off than I get in Vegas. Get a point. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. Freight train, nice. Oh man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. Oh, the defender almost kicked off the ball on that one. Second down and ten. And like every one of my barbecues, this guy's on fire. Does he look original or extra crispy? Now it looks like extra crispy. His cleats are boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic. A terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. The offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. You need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And that'll be second and eight to go. Well, as a quarterback, you have to take... Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. And it's first and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First and four.
Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Slipped away like a greased pig. Oh, nice hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And that play went nowhere fast. No game. Second down and ten. Fireball with that flame on dirty trick. And anything he touches gets flumpy. And he's off to the races. Touchdown! And he rips off a game breaking run for the score. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completion. You can't keep a good mutant down. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? erases the previous play by transporting the offense back in time. I heard that Time Warp Dirty Trick uses advanced alien black hole technology. Yeah, your entire life is one big black hole. Second down in a very lot. They just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. Third down and a pussy here. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new... Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. They bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. for a four-yard gain. Second down and six. <laughs> Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message without him. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. 
range is a rocket. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. This guy's a brick shit house. You've got to love a player who goes down fighting. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. With another pick, the QB says, no doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Here comes the defense. He's at the 10. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. Oh, and he breaks free and hits. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Huge pass play for one yard. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. Second down and nine. the way to move the chains that's good for a first down this game is all about momentum and killing and it's first and ten. Oh, he fumbled that one everyone loves being on the highlight reel leaping over a defender but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose second down and ten Here 
And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Third down and 10. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And the punter has one job to do, and that's punt the ball. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Mistakes here, just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. And he breaks away. He is fighting for every up. He picks up eight yards on that pass. Second down and two. the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Third and two. Oh, great tackle. I know how to set another hit a man when he's down. He's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. First and ten. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast dirty trick and three. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. I'm not saying the rap has been bribed, but he drove out of the field in a brand new hearse. <laughs> First and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, other than the funeral expenses, that is. Second down in a lot. <laughs> 
Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. The return man catches the ball, and it looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. And that's another turnover for the defense. Ouch! What is this? Annie's wrestling? <laughs> and it's first and ten. Pick six, but dropped the interception. And it's why he's on defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? And he's, man, what a hit that was. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the... Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Close, but no cigar. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I had the quarterback threaten to... The QB saved some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. First down and seven. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker 
Bob Ren. Uh, this guy in the field. No, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Five-yard gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put... First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. Second down and five. And the offense quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. Do what? And that'll bring up third down and seven. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. He's got the ball now. Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, during the half, can you pick me up a soil and beer? Third quarter, we are all tied up and set to kick off the second half. Uh, speaking of all tied up, Grim, how many of them elephant laughs in a pill did I take? My... I feel like I'm sitting on Mount Vesuvio right now. Oh, one false move, and I'm gonna blow! The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> Sound the bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. why we love the MFL. <laughs> and it's first and ten.
Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Yeah, but... Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, uh, man, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. Am I right? The defense uses the time warp dirty trick to erase that last play. I think all those team physicists really paid off. And you said they were crazy. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. Now I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. I know. I hate those zebra men. Second down, the side. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. another pick man oh man the defense is gonna have oh that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life and it's first and ten when defensive players go berserk they've been known if you don't think you can make the interception batting it down is the next best thing Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. Third down and ten. The brain scrambler. And out comes the most underrated position in football the mighty punter. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got hit by a car and died. I just saw that story. leaving a wake of destruction in his path and the body toll continues to climb and it's first and ten just blew up and he's on fire. I'm not talking about the video game fire modes. I mean, literally, he's like burning bacon down there. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest 
tits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest tits? Where? The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else comes. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. Of course he... There's a bloody red head on the field. Now that's their red penalty marker, Briggs. Looks like this one's coming back. <laughs> and it's first and ten. The defense called a one speed dirty trick. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just... You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. And that's a catch for three yards. Second down and seven. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. with the brain scrambler. First in and three. They run it for a yard. Second down and two. The defender says, I don't think so. Third and two. Wow. The and he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's all those Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And he punched his way out of that tackle. It's first and ten.
Second down in a mile. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to... Whoa, that is one big mutant sandwich down there. One guy's definitely toast. That's what you call a club sandwich, Grim. And it's first and ten. Touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's coupon night and tackle hell. He has better footwork though than me. Man. I'm kind of not clenching his cheeks though. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. It's first and ten. Looks like the defense called the ginormous dirty trick. It's a and he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. First down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Second down and ten. He could go all the way. It's a touchdown. Since when is that a penalty? Uh, since now, I guess, Grim. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. I got the thing stuck in my ear again. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. I hope you covered your ears, Bridge, because that was a great chance for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. And the quarterback signals for a hurry up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage, and, uh, and the ball falls to the ground. That's incomplete. He needs to throw it when the receiver can catch it. What's he doing? And uh, groundbreaking analysis, as always there, Bricks. Uh, thank you. I do my part. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. First and ten. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. Lost their final.
all running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. Yeah, lucky to survive so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same in French and his girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. You can't keep it. At this rate, the QB's going to have more interceptions than completions. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. He's at the 40. He's running out of gas now. The 20. The 10. Touchdown! Missor can really dance, huh? Uh, he was a ballet minor in college. Did a one-man version of Swan Lake. Fell on the broad and killed her. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. tackles he takes a oh that was a big hit hey bricks i'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career ah uh, let's see about a quarter after three grim but my watch is a bit slow he's not going to oh great play he is on that receiver like glue you know when i was little my dad used to make me eat glue my tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth and i couldn't talk your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. down give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off he is deadly in the open field bricks and he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored nicely done well a little chip shot here extra point but this guy could blow it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. They usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck, which is typically the amount that quarterback tips on dinner. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Guns. He's got a receiver breaking open. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Yo, man, nobody can touch the eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Pow! With the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Free. 
force meets the explodable object. He's at the 40, and he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the first set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And it's first and ten. You gotta love a player who goes down fighting. Second down and seven. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Second down in a very lot. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the big six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback's going to be hurting, or dead, or worse. Two minutes left in the game. Thank God, I gotta take a wicked dub. Feel like I'm sitting on a wax candle. Not on my shoulder, you know. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. A misfired punt will give the opposing team. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. It's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch? Oh, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And it's first and ten. The defense calls their first time out to save some clock. I save clocks too, Grim. My wife hates them. They take up the whole garage. Wait. What, you're married? Mm, it's complicated. And the quarterback throws another pick. Oh, what a punishment hit that one. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your 
shoe size because he just walked all over him. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. The quarterback steps back, and, and with another pick, the QB says, I don't know how much throw. Oh, did he take a punishing hit? You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? Yeah, the waitress at the Boo Booters chicken wings last night? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then, then the police horse is out front in the stadium earlier. That was just a joke slap, but the horse took it seriously. Not surprised. remaining the defense has to get something going here second down and more than the QB would like oh what a sack there I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls he's gonna play with crushed balls from here on out And defense burns its last time out. You can't take them into the locker room, so you might as well use them now. Why would you want to take a timeout into the locker room, Grim? That doesn't sound right. And that pass is good for about five yards. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The offense will get it on the 20. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Grim, can I kill him? the Titanic his ship just went down hey, hey I almost got that mutant bingo oh, put that one in the loss column the Grim Bay attackers lose the game and they lost me 50 bucks and let's go down to the field and hear the MVP he's a real role model for the kids Bricks that is if you want your kids to be a roid raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea oh that personality disorder has a name it's called autotropism yeah man he's on the now <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by...